Return to the Monsters, Inc. universe in the Disney Plus brand new series, Monsters at Work. It's laughter thereafter as we meet a brand new cast of monsters voiced by incredible stars such as Mindy Kaling, Henry Winkler, and of course, Ben Feldman as Tyler, a recently graduated scarer who quickly learns the only thing horrifying at Monsters, Inc. is how hilarious it is to be part of the team. Billy Crystal and John Goodman are back in their beloved roles as Mike and Sully. Monsters at Work, original series now streaming, only on Disney+. Plus. Yay Networks. Parenting is such a breeze. Oh, but it would bring you to your knees if it weren't for Chatty Daddy. Oh, yeah, the Chatty Daddies. Welcome to the Chatty Daddies. A podcast about three fathers who are parenting experts. That's right. I've, I've taken off the think because we've done enough podcasts now to, uh, to be det- uh, deemed, I think, uh, experts. There's got to yeah. be a book deal coming. I think so. I mean, have we done 10,000 hours yet? Is that what we need <laughs> right, to become experts? Book so. deal? What about movie deal? Yeah. Zach Efron's going to sign up to play Nick Adams here soon. Boys, forget the forget a movie deal. Let's do let's do a Netflix series and let's yeah. just get paid yeah, on get for it. a long time, you know what I'm saying? Let's do a little animation and that way our faces can get uglier, but our little cartoons stay cute. I imagine Shaq would portray a pretty good Trey Peart. Yeah, Shaq would be good for yeah. you. JC, for you, mm, I'm going to say... Meryl Streep. Yeah, she can do anything. Shut Good she one. can do anything. Good one. I was going to go with Brad Pitt, but I guess Meryl Streep is fine. <laughs> I was going to say Oprah. Yeah, Oprah's uh, cool. Gilbert yeah. Gottfried. Oh, why not? <laughs> <laughs> but it was Father's Day this past weekend. It it's been a week now separated from Father's Day, a day that some dads love, some dads don't really care for, some dads hang out with the kids all day, some dads go to the golf course, yep. they spend it however they want, and so now we get to chit chat about what we did. So, any takers on who wants to tell us about their Father's Day first? Well, no. this, this was Trey's first yeah. Father's Day. Yeah, so nothing too crazy. Got my presents in bed, uh-huh. and I got a customized book with uh, Quaid telling me how much he loves me on every page. Cute. Uh, and then another book that is uh, Father Wisdom from Coaches. So, like, the most famous coaches, Oh, all their wisdom compiled together to be able to use it in parenting. Very nice. It's a pretty cool little thing. A lot of Vince Lombardi, a lot of Bear Bryant... Uh, you know, a lot of the, the names you would recognize mm-hmm. as huge football coaches. Is uh, Vince Lombardi's famous quote of, uh, show me a good loser and I'll show you a loser in there somewhere? I think they may have left that on the editing room floor. Got it, okay. Because that, that's not great for parenting. <laughs> uh, but no, there's a lot of cool advice in there. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll throw some of them at you as I read through it. That's awesome. Did I you like cry? That. Did you cry uh, for no your tears. first thought? No? No tears wow. at all. Uh, and then we just went and hung out with her dad. My dad was in another city because they were doing, he was down in San Antonio for a uh, shooting competition. My little brother was shooting in nationals. He was shooting cool. skeet. Yeah, I know. Doing stuff at a national level. He was so, shooting skeet? Wow. Yeah. Skeet, yeah. trap, sport, all that yeah, different with the stuff. Ying Ying, uh, with the yin yang twings are thrown on the walls? Yeah, exactly. I think they play that as their yeah, hype music. I think so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I didn't do anything too crazy. Just hung out with the kid, hung out with Kara's family, and it was great. It was Got nice. It was wonderful. Nice. Yeah. What about you, Nick? How was your father's day? Well, I mean, it was fine. It was good. I've told this to a few people, and they look at me like a sad puppy dog, like, is something wrong? No. But, but. the headline is, I had two meals alone in my car on Father's Day. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, some people think that's sad. Some people think it's a nice little vacation. How'd so, you feel? Like, wh- why? I was totally fine with it. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay. We are painting my house right now. We're getting all new paint colors inside the house. And so it came time for them to do what is called primer, I guess. Sure, and yeah. that smells really terrible. Yeah. So and primer's so, all that gray stuff they put on, yes. the, on the, before they put the nice looking paint. Yes. Yeah, so it's all fumey. Like my house is a war zone. There's like ladders and paint buckets and just like cabinet doors hanging all around my house. It's just chaos. So the smell was so bad. We, we just couldn't stay there. So we've been staying at some family members house houses the last few nights. Like we've been alternating like, One night, we'll stay at my parents. The next night, her parents' house. The next night, my parents' house. We've been going back and forth, and it's been a little chaotic, living out of a suitcase for a few days. But it was Sunday morning, and I needed to go see how the house was, if it had aired out enough for us to go back there that night. And so it was Sunday morning. My wife said, why don't you just go do it? 
there's a place that I like to get breakfast tacos that I can never get unless I'm in this certain part of town. She says, oh, nice. Just go get some breakfast tacos and then go home and see what it's like. So I did that. And it was I sat in the parking lot and ate breakfast tacos by myself. And I loved it. Yep. Peace and quiet. It was fine. Sometimes that's what dads want. I and, did. Uh, I pulled out my phone and I started watching Kevin Hart's Fatherhood <laughs> on there. And it was really good. Haven't finished it all, but it was good. And so then I went to the house. I It was still way too fumey. We cannot move back in yet. It uh, smells too bad. So I opened up all the windows, all the doors, let it air out for a few hours. And I just like sat on my patio for yep. a few hours, just sat there. It was uh -huh. hot. It was hot, but it was cooler outside than it was inside because we didn't have the AC on because you're not supposed to have your AC on when you're painting. Oh, oh right. And then I, it, it wasn't, it wasn't good enough after a few hours. So I got back in my car, went and got a sandwich, ate the sandwich in my car for lunch <laughs> and then drove back to my in-laws house where we hung out and swam and played and it was fine. I was happy. Like we had pork chops that night. It was it was fine. Sounds, no sounds big deal. Fine. Yeah. It yeah. doesn't sound like the traditional Father's no. Day, but as long as you weren't beat down by it, yeah. That's all and my good. kids just they made me a couple things at school. They they got me a card or two and Are you sure that was they it? made it? I'll get into it. I'll get into it later. Okay. It's fine. I, I will say I for my situation, yes, because it was like each day of the week they were like adding something to this picture. Uh, so they were hanging up on the wall. So every day when I pick them up, I can kind of see the progress. Gotcha, yeah. gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. What about you, JC? All right, since Nick was giving us a headline with his, well, the headline mm. for my weekend was my son saying, fine, why don't you just take me to an orphanage then? <laughs> oh, gosh. So okay. happy Father's Day. Well, I'm sure those orphans would love to have a Father's Day, Kaysen. And maybe it had to do, uh, had to do with the movie we watched because Kinsey, although I tell her every year, you know, I love Father's Day. I really love you guys and everything, but you do not need to make it a big deal. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't need to. It's okay. I'm, I'm happy with my card and my hugs in the morning and my breakfast. And then let's go back to real life. Cause honestly, Dude, a normal day. Yeah. Normal day is fine. Cause I didn't push babies out like, mm -mm. and I try my best to be a good dad and everything, but you don't need, you don't need to celebrate me over that. Sure. I try to do that every day. She said, no, nah, let's have a father's day weekend. All right. And I said, wow. okay, okay, that's, let's, you know what? I'm not going to fight my wife over this. Let's, let's have a father's day weekend. My daughter went and had a sleepover on Friday. So we just had Kaysen. And, uh, and he wanted to take me to go see that movie that came out about the football team, the 12 mighty orphans. Yeah. This was a great movie for my son to watch because he's been he's been getting a little bit older and he's been having some uh, issues when it comes to uh, respect when it, to the parents. You know, we all went through that age when we were eight, nine, year, ten years old and we were just trying to fight everything our parents did. So this was a good, nice little set him straight movie so he could see what it was really like so he doesn't complain about the things he doesn't have so he Makes could sense. see what it was really like for orphans back then and it was tough it was mm -hmm. it was a dude there was tears he cried he teared up in the movie Whoa. i teared up in the movie it was that it was one of those so i'm thinking we're gonna go into the weekend Kason's gonna have his best weekend of all time yeah <laughs> saturday went to a baseball game fun this is a day after we watched a movie about orphans guys okay so saturday's activity baseball game with chloe and Kaysen. their first baseball game together that they remember because last time they were basically just babies didn't even know how to talk mm -hmm. had a blast talk case i was doing the dad thing where i was teaching him about baseball and he was sure. looking at me and taking it all in and he was cheering uh, and doing no. the wave. it was great son that's called a base hit yes well you know with bases loaded it's really important that uh, they hit the ball they can get a point here chloe you yeah. understand yeah it was, it was awesome you know I, I've, I've visualized these moments nick just like that <laughs> and so we go home that night and Kaysen starts acting up with his mom you know, just talking want, back. Yeah, yeah. We asked him basically. You you want to know what the fight was, guys? Um, he we asked him to go brush his teeth, and he didn't want to because it's it was the dumbest time. things the that dumbest. set kids off. It's the dumb things that set parents off too, but yeah, kids dumbest. especially. And I have this conversation with my kids all the time. I told you guys the quote I made up from when they were little. I said, "Do what we say, and everything will be okay." That's the quote we say. And I've also had the longer talk conversation with them that says, "Listen, whenever we tell you to do something, and you guys fight us over it." Guess what? You're going to end up doing it. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if you end up doing it after fighting, there's going to be punishment involved. And so that night, the punishment was PlayStation taken away. God, fine. See you later, alligator. Now, no when it's taken away, do you physically remove it or, or does it stay there and he just can't use it? Mostly it's a verbal uh, takeaway. 
as in you can't go on it the next day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The next day being Father's Day. So Father's Day came. He was back. He was all good. Everything was happy. You know, he knew he was grounded from Fortnite that day. He couldn't play it. We went to brunch. Went to a Mexican restaurant. Had a good time and everything. And then we get back and we remember Chloe has um, cheerleading practice. So Kinsey and Chloe have to leave. It's just me and Kaysen at the house on Father's Day. And he starts getting on me about, well, since mommy's gone, can I play Fortnite? And I said, no. <laughs> I said, no, this is Father's Day. Me and you, we're going to hang out. We're going to watch some soccer. We're going to hang out and just have a boy's time. Well, I want to play Fortnite. Nope. We're not going to play Fortnite. Please don't start this, son. It's Father's Day. Let's not ruin Father's Day. <laughs> I want to stop. Boom. He loses it. I lose it as a dad. You know, I'm tired. We, it's my day. And I felt slighted. So I lost it on him. And I said, you know what? I'm taking your whole PlayStation away. I went upstairs and I disconnected that thing. Oh, day. yeah. Mm. You know, I, I did the power move. So you know it's serious. Yeah, I knew it was serious, guys. And I freaking grabbed it and I took it away. And he was not happy about that. And he, we got downstairs after I put it away because I hide it from him. And he looked at me and he goes, I can't believe you did that. And I said, well, listen, man, sometimes you need to learn when to stop. And you need to realize that I'm losing my cool and my dad's about to lose my cool and we just need to chill. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, if you don't like me, why don't you just take me to an orphanage? (laughs) (laughs) And I'm like, somewhere down the line, I did something wrong. I know I did something wrong. I said something wrong. I said something stupid probably. I didn't do it right. And and I looked at him, I'm like, I'm not taking you to an orphanage, bro. I'm not not giving up on you like that. He goes, well, I want to go to an orphanage. And I was like, all right, if you're... So then I play the game, which again, is not the right thing to do according to parenting. Books. Yeah, you're just like egging him on. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. So I was like, all right, bro, you want to go to an orphanage? Go ahead, go pack your bag. <laughs> t- I called his bluff. I was like, go pack it. I'll- if that's what you really want, dude, I don't want to take you. But if that's what you're asking me to do, I'll take you. And he goes, no. I'm asking you to let me play Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> well, buddy, I don't think I'm getting through to you here. Oh, man, it was just one of those. And Kinsey was gone this whole time. And, it, you know, it turned into a little, he got mad at me. I, I yelled at him. And then 20 minutes later, everything's fine. And then Kinsey strolls in. Like, how, hey how was, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> how was everything? I was like, it's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's good. Nothing, nothing bad happened. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing bad happened. But yeah, man, he, he threw the, to take me to an orphanage. I'm like, dude, we just watched a movie about orphans and you saw mm-hmm. how bad it was for them and that's what you want. Not that it, it's like that nowadays, but I kind of wanted him to low-key think that it's that way. Hey, have you ever gotten into an argument uh, with one of your kids, JC, and then Kinsey comes home and you say, do you want to know what your daughter did? Oh, absolutely. Your daughter? Yeah, that, at that point, son? it's not mine anymore. Yeah, yeah. You pushed them out? You brought uh, them into this world? I do that all the time. All and the I'm time, like, dude. how old am I? I have, my kid's only four, and I'm already saying stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> by the way, best uh, Father's Day present was given to me by my neighbor. Okay. Uh, he won Yard of the Month, and I'm a little jealous. You know, a little jealous of my neighbor because I kind of want yard of the month now that I'm. Are you this. are you putting the work in? Absolutely not. Okay, I'm not, okay, no. no so but you I do not deserve yard of the month. In my head, I do. But okay, <laughs> probably in real life, no, I don't. Mm. He he, I, he. I woke up the next on Father's Day, and Kinsey goes, Jose, what did you do last night? <gasps> and I was like, Oh no. Mm-hmm. Because remember, I had a little issue with Kaysen, so I drank a couple beer, beer skis, and I stayed up after Kenzie, and I was like, did I do something stupid? Did I pee on a drawer or something? Yeah. And uh, she goes, did you, did you steal the yard, the yard of the month sign? And I was like, what? I grabbed my phone, and it was a picture from my neighbor. He moved it, took a picture of it, and sent it to me and put, happy Father's Day. I wanted you to be yard of the month for a few. <laughs> and then I wrote him back, and I was like, dude, you know they're going to think I stole it because I've been talking mm-hmm. about it. And so he goes, oh, crap, you're right. So we, we switched it back. For, but for a couple hours, your boy was yard of the month. Yeah. It almost like, was he like teasing you? Like, hey, yeah, I'll give it to you for two hours. Sure. No, I think he's that. Is he nice rubbing it in your no, face? No, 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 no. He's not that okay. guy. He's not a rubber in or guy, kind of guy. He's, a, he's just genuinely a nice dude trying to make me feel good. Going to take and, this sign back to my perfectly edged lawn. Thank you. And I low-key think he probably heard me, you know, in case in having a little father-son mm-hmm. going at it, and he probably wanted to make me feel better, you know? Cause I was I was this close, guys, to calling better help. <laughs> like, oh, no. I was, like, like, I was about to call better help because I've called I've, I've hit them up about you know parenting issues in the right. past just to talk me down and and boy do they do a great job with that. I well, know we make light of a lot of subjects here, but there are times that you really need to talk to somebody about yes. a serious issue, and you don't need your friends joking around. You don't need to uh, bring extra stress to whoever's closest to you. You can use better help. 
to get a licensed therapist at the touch of your fingers on your phone at any time. What we love about BetterHelp is that they can help you with a ton of different things. So things like depression, anger, family issues, JC, (laughs) anxiety, sleeping even. How great is that? You can talk to someone just about your sleeping. They have tons of licensed counselors who can help you out with all of these things and they are confidential they're convenient they're affordable you can check out all of the testimonials on their site that are posted daily now in fact they have uh, so many people using better help right now that they're recruiting additional counselors in all 50 states and look we want you to start living a happier life today so as a listener of the chatty daddies as a chatty daddy yourself or as a chatty mommy you'll get 10 percent off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com slash daddies you can join over a million people who have taken charge of their mental health and it's really easy just go to better help h-e-l-p dot com slash daddies is father's day um a sex holiday <laughs> uh, like you should get some that day yeah, yeah yeah so it's like you know your birthday you're probably going to get some now is father's day along those lines i am uh, yeah in my house it is yeah of course it is at your house Twelve thirty is a, a, a <laughs> holiday for you guys. Uh, so okay, so let me run down some of the holidays that I think are sex holidays. Okay, okay. so right. Father is so Father's, Father's Day for you. Day, yes, Father's okay, cool. Day. Congratulations. Birthday, obviously. Oh, for sure. Now Christmas. I mean, Christmas is a is a sex holiday. I, I really don't, this hmm. is big, but I have it. That's the Lord's birthday, bro. I know, Jesus I know, birthday. I know. I actually think that's when Hallelujah. Casey, that's when Quaid was conceived. Uh, you don't know when Casey <laughs> was conceived, bro. You weren't there. <laughs> um, and so let's see what other holidays could be. I mean, Valentine's Day. Holiday. Did you say Valentine, that one? Valentine's Day has to be right. Anniversary. Anniversary is one of them. Yeah. Our, our, especially our because Kenzie and I determined our dating anniversary based on the first time we uh, hooked up. Right. And so that's. That's when we try to keep the streak alive. Now, I wouldn't say that Mother's Day is a sex holiday. You know what no, I mean? No, that's up to, that's that's up up to, to them. them. It's up to them. Right. Yeah, that's you, up to them. We're leaving out the biggest, the sexiest. Which one? President's Day. Sure. President's How can we not think about our forefathers? I'm going to dress up like Taft. You dress up like Lincoln, and we'll meet yeah. in the middle. Hey, honey, I got a nice Trump wig you can throw on. Yeah. Yeah. I dress up like George Washington Schlong, you know. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> All right. So speaking of Father's Day, I got a Father's Day present from my son, and it was through the daycare. And I think, I think I've stumbled upon something. Dun dun dun! Did they really use my son's foot to make the piece of artwork that they gave me as a Father's Day present, or yep. did they use a fake foot? What? I think that they are trying to pull one over on all the families, and they are using fake feet. They have, like, 10-month-old foot. They've got 12-month-old foot. You know what I mean? And like just, shoe sizes? Like, like, like you're yeah. at a, like a foot locker? Like a big rubber stamp that they just use for everybody. It makes everything go so quick. And okay. then what are they going to do? They're going to do 200 different students' feet? I don't think so. But they got to be careful because one of those kids has a messed up toe, and yeah, their parents you know. are going to yeah. know. Exactly. Yeah, that's not my cashew toe that runs in my family. And I think that I have stumbled upon a conspiracy theory that no one has ever stumbled upon before. And so I have put it out into the universe hoping to talk to daycare workers all over the country to prove my point. And here now to tell me how right I am is Justine. (laughs) Hi, Justine. (laughs) Hi, how are you? (laughs) Uh, I'm doing good. So you used to be in the daycare field. You still are are, are right now. (laughs) Yes. So I worked in daycare for a few years and now I'm a nanny. Um, I've been a nanny for uh, 10 years now. So. Oh, are we distracting you from some kids right now? Uh No, no, you're fine. (laughs) So, Justine, is Trey correct with this conspiracy that you guys just have some random footprint (laughs) that you use a foot stamp for every kid? Absolutely not. Dang it! Come on! <laughs> I don't believe her. I don't believe I'm her. Sorry. She's she's I'm in sorry. bed with she's yeah. in bed with big foot stamp, and she's not going <laughs> to spill the secrets. So my my trick is to use um, ink pads instead of paint. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Uh, because it's more it's not as messy. Um, yep. If I don't have ink pads, I usually will give them either a snack or um, a toy um, things that they don't typically will play with and I usually will put them in like a high chair or a bobby seat or just a bouncer. I've done a bouncer before. So you're telling me <laughs> that, that 
<laughs> You're telling me that uh, people uh, have techniques that they've cultivated over several years and that uh, I'm just <laughs> not doing it right. You're just not good, Trey. Oh. Yeah. Correct. I'm sorry. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, fine. So I mean, I'm wrong. I can give you a lesson if you want. <laughs> Hopefully, I'm not having to do footprints for a long time, and we'll actually get to do finger color, finger paintings at some point. Justin, like if you see a, uh, someone in the you know where you work doing something you deem to be the wrong way to handle business when it comes to children, do you guys have a code where you keep to yourselves, or do you guys bring it up right away? I usually keep it to myself unless it has to do with my child that i'm taking care of yeah um with i've i've worked with special needs in the past and i kind of got like you know like a little hood on some people because (laughs) people would stare but (laughs) (laughs) so uh, let me ask you this my son recently had an incident report because he bonked his little head on the side of a counter on the wall or something like that Uh, what kind of like group decision is it to call the parents because i'm sure that it's not the first time he's bonked his head do they call it for every tiny little incident or will you wait and be like hey do you think i need to call or would mom not notice that they do we have to document everything just legal reasons um i had a child um crack his head open oh no (laughs) um he was running and i went i was changing a diaper and i went to turn and i was like no and he he was looking the opposite way and he went to look forward and literally just like the corner of the wall Mm. just bonked his head and i mean it was like yeah Okay, time to go outside. Like, <laughs> yep. <laughs> Justine, mess, is but. there is there an age that is the absolute worst, and is there an age that's the absolute best in general? Yeah, between the oh, ages of one till they so go to mi- to elementary school. <laughs> <laughs> that's so hard. I mean, two um, two and three year olds cannot be fun. I mean, I currently take care of a two year old. Oh well, um, it's not fun, is now, it? Granted. And now, granted, I just started with him, but I do have a knack for, like, the twos and the threes. But I mm. will also say that threes are probably worse than the twos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, but, um, yeah. <laughs> I have a couple more questions. I know you actually have a job that you have to get to, but I have a couple no, more questions. No, no, you're fine. You're good. <laughs> uh, so every single day I pick him up, they're like, oh, he had a great day. He had a great day. Are, are they lying to me? Because no. I feel like I'm like, he's got to have a bad day at some point. So you guys do tell parents, hey, your kids suck today. Yeah. I do. I don't put it in, <laughs> in, those, in those terms. You know, I just say, you know, Timmy had a hard day today. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. you know, or we had a rough day keeping our hands to ourselves or, you know, okay. using soft feet. Um, but yeah, kids do a thousand percent. They act totally different with their caregiver than they do with their parents. Yeah. Right? And this, I would think you guys wouldn't want to hide it from parents if they had a tough day because that way the parents can go home and take care of those issues and start teaching the kids how to behave correctly, right? You don't want them to keep coming to the, to the preschool and keep backing up the way they are. Right, right. But then it's like a double-edged sword, too, because... Nine times out of ten, that's where they learn their bad habits. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, You know, like the biting and the kicking, if, especially if they're, like, you know, only child and stuff. Yeah. So. Justine, I have another question. Way off topic, since you've been in child care for so long, have you found a technique that will make my kid eat a vegetable? <laughs> Bake it into something. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> like, it. make it I, into, like, a muffin. Um, uh-huh. Like, I've done, like, zucchini muffins, Mm. where I'll use, like, apples so that they're sweet, but, like, you can't, you just shred the zucchini, like, really thin, Mm -hmm. and you make it that way. Nice. Okay. That is a good idea. And they look like a muffin, and, I mean, you can even add, like, icing to it if it makes you feel better, but it's just, (laughs) (laughs) I mean, that's what I've done in the past, is just bake it into things. You're hitting it out of the park right there, Justin, because I got my, my son was adamant about saying i will not eat cauliflower it's gross i gave him some cauliflower crust pizza and then uh had him say it again that he would never eat cauliflower and broke the news to him and now he's all about um. it <laughs> <laughs> so justine my That's last how you get him. <laughs> so my last question for you is you're a nanny right how mm-hmm. and, and um would you say that you work for somebody super rich <laughs> Yes. All right. All right. Like, okay. Oh. I'm not going to, you don't have to like out who they are, but are they like in politics? Are they famous? Are they just rich, rich? Or are they just like a 
wealthy, yeah. They're just rich, rich. Nice. nice. Did they nice. give you a, a car just for nanny duties? Like a car? You know, we had a discussion about that because uh-huh. I had just started, um, and I think it was because they they put the car seats in my car and they saw what a hot mess my car is, <laughs> um, and the dad was like. Um, we're thinking about getting a nanny car. You know, I have to look into the logistics. Like, I don't know how much those things cost. Mm-hmm. So we'll get back to you. And I'm like, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Will they get you a Bentley or something? Is that what, is that what? <laughs> <laughs> We'll see. <Yeah. laughs> <It's continued. laughs> All right, Justine. Well, thank you so much for answering some of our questions. I really appreciate it. And uh, I'll hit you back up if I have other daycare questions. Awesome. Thank you. No thank problem. you. You, you, so you messed up giving Trey your number, Justine. He's going to call you all the time. <laughs> Call me anytime. All right, bye, bye, Justine. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> she was so cool. She As was. All, all, all people that work in child care tend to be that friendly and fun and always optimistic and smile on their faces. So what I'm gathering is that I'm just wrong. Yeah, Trey, uh, you're wrong. I, I, you, you, you're on the right track. There's definitely something fishy going on. What does Because it say? I've, I've tried to do the handprints and the feet and paint before, and it's impossible, Trey. Right. Well, here's the thing, though, is I don't feel like people could uh, edit video and audio as well as, you know, you could edit video, I could edit audio. So that's our job. Exactly. We figured out the, the tips time. and the tricks and the, uh, able to do it in 30 seconds to make it look perfect. So but, let, me, let me give you a trick here, yeah. because I have my kids, uh, my son's handprint on my right arm tattooed. And then I, on my left arm, I have my daughter's feet, both her feet on my, on my arm. And like you guys said, they, I got them when they were really little. How do you get it to be so perfect? Because, I mean, these are really, they're perfect footprints, right? Mm-hmm. There's not crooked toe or anything. What we had to do, and maybe this is what they do at, at the little schools, is we had to take different different ones and then yeah. we would grab like one that's good, but maybe the pinky's all messed up. So we'd grab the good pinky from the other one and then we put it together. That's so that's smart. how we made the perfect prints. One time, it was probably for Mother's Day or something when my kids were, maybe it was last year or something, uh, we were doing the footprints things for like our grandparents or, you know, put put the footprints in the cards and stuff like that. And I decided to do it to myself. And so I put my footprint in a card for my grandmother. So it's their little feet with my big foot. That's adorable. It that- was I think hilarious. Did you get your full foot on there? No, I think it hung off a little bit. It yeah. did not fit, but my grandma thought it was funny. Oh, so mission accomplished. That li- I like I like that idea. We should all do that as grown ups for our grandparents. <laughs> Fun fact, by the way, since we were just talking to a nanny that is a nanny to very rich people, I know a nanny that's a nanny for a billionaire. Nice. Whoa. Does she have her own nanny car? I don't remember. She's been with them since they were really little. I think uh, the the boy, because there's three kids, it's two girls and a boy. The boy was, I think, in preschool when she started uh, mm-hmm. watching them. Now they're almost, now the boy, I think, is going into, uh, I want to say he's going into middle school or like fifth grade, and the girls are like graduating high school or close to it. But she was a teacher, um, and all of a sudden this person, high profile person, needed a, needed a nanny, and it was just word of mouth. Mm-hmm. This yeah. person knew this person, and then they, her name got brought up. They hit her up and said, hey, are you willing to quit your teaching career and come be a <laughs> nanny for us? And she yes. put it all down, and yeah, she became a full time nanny. Very impressive. And she gets she got to travel. The, she gets to travel. Still gets to travel the world. She's really good friends with the wife. She's she's at the family functions and all that stuff. It's really cool. So okay, let's pretend we are all mega wealthy, just like yep. your friend's uh, employer, JC. So basically, this is uh, the, the whole day for me. Yes. I try to pretend. Like pretend I wanna, I wanna you're see. mega wealthy. It's time to get a nanny. Okay. I don't want to ask a question that's too uh, inappropriate for 2021. Okay. You're, you're about to ask uh, if we would hire a nerd. Uh, Do you get one. a hot nanny? Yeah. Yes. Uh, no. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, I what? think the answer's no. Yeah. Oh, it's no? I, I think thought there was, there's no correct or wrong answer. I, I think the answer is no. Even if my wife brought to me like a uh, uh, mildly attractive uh, uh, <laughs> nanny, I would say no. absolutely not. Listen, you chauvinistic boys. I'm not being chauvinistic. I am making look, sure that my a, wife doesn't think I'm trying to sleep with exactly. the Exactly. Just don't have interactions with them. Here's, the, here's what you do. But I think it's a trap, even if she's... Because we're going to talk about it ahead of time. She's mm-hmm. going to be like, hey, here's this nanny. What do you think? And I'll be like, mm, not qualifying. That's I'm not, looking mm. at qualifications. I'm looking uh-huh. at how, how long you've been working with kids. I'm talking to the people whose houses you've been mm-hmm. at. I'm talking to the people that... Trey uh, not qualified. She was just Bill Gates' uh, sure. uh, nanny. What do you mean? Yeah. It's, so I'm not, I'm not even looking at looks. And honestly... 
as far as when it comes to nannying or or even as far as teachers or even babysitters i don't i don't do a lot of interacting with them just, just sure be- but at some point you will yeah. there will be a time where like you're home alone with them for an hour or whatever it is and it's like mm, i just want to remove all doubts any questions yeah. for now and into the future and that something might happen. This is along the same lines, I think, as, uh, hey, can you sleep in the same uh, bed as another dude? Yeah, of course. I'm not going to sleep with the guy, like have sex with the guy. It's right. okay for me to sleep. Like, it should be okay for me to have should be. a super hot nanny. It should be fine. I actually have uh, uh, another daycare uh, worker that wants to talk to us. So let me get her on the phone real quick. Okay. Return to the Monsters, Inc. universe in the Disney Plus brand new series, Monsters at Work. It's laughter thereafter as we meet a brand new cast of monsters voiced by incredible stars such as Mindy Kaling, Henry Winkler, and of course, Ben Feldman as Tyler, a recently graduated scarer who quickly learns the only thing horrifying at Monsters, Inc. is how hilarious it is to be part of the team. Billy Crystal and John Goodman are back in their beloved roles as Mike and Sully. Monsters at Work, original series now streaming only on Disney+. Plus. Okay. All right, so I actually have Chastity on the phone with us right now, another daycare professional. I need to know, Chastity, uh, am I being crazy when I think that the daycare is using a fake foot to pretend like it's my own child's foot for art projects? Okay, so no. All right. And the reason why mm. is because is um, I'll be the first to say it. Um <gasps> So when I first started, like seven, like seven years ago, I know like sometimes if like a kid isn't here for a um, project, uh-huh. mm-hmm. like I said, they got sick. Um, sometimes they'll use like another kid's hand, but like that's like on a very rare occasion. So you're telling me if Trey Sun Quaid was at daycare, it is a hundred percent going to be his foot? Is that what you're telling me then? I, at the last one that I was at, absolutely. I'll, mm. I'll, I'll be anonymous with them, but absolutely. But the one I'm currently at now, we'll absolutely wait until like that kid's back. Okay. okay. See you, Trey. So it just depends on, on what level of uh, daycare I'm at. Am I at the good daycare or at the shady daycare? That's up to you, Trey. <laughs> she doesn't know what daycare you go to. But I got to imagine if you're sitting there, okay, I've got 12 feet I have to stamp today. And you know that you have one kid that's calm and you have like two kids that are wild and crazy and they're not going to do it. I would be very tempted to use the calm kid's foot. For those oh, other oh, two. big time, yeah. I it's, would be tempted. Yeah, and I would, if, if he's an average foot and he averages out to all the other feet, why not? You know, if he's going to give you the best foot, uh, the best foot forward. Oh, understandable. I understand that completely. You, you would think so because it's easier, but I'm always the one that I'm like, all right, we're going to do this. I like now, it. I want to ask you this question, Chastity, because how long have you worked in daycare or with kids? I've been doing this since 2012. Okay, so you've been doing this for a while, almost 10 years. What is your go-to hilarious story that you go with when people ask you about, like, yo, tell me your most embarrassing or tell me your biggest cringeworthy story? Do you have one of those? Um, yes. So first, it has to do with my name. Okay. So uh, with my name being Chastity, some kids have a hard time pronouncing it. And when I first started 10 years ago, I went, you know... Maybe I'll just let the kids call me Chas because that's my nickname with my family, Mm -hmm. and it's easier to say. Of course. So when I first started, there was a girl, two years old. um, She comes up to me. She goes, what's your name? And I'm like, well, my name's Miss Chastity. But, you know, if it's easier for you, you can call me Miss Chas. And she goes, oh, okay, Miss Ass, that's perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, so you change no, that real quick. Cha, cha. <laughs> you got to put the cha in there. And I went, oh, wait, hold on. No, no, no. How about we just do chastity? And she was like, oh, okay, Miss and I'm like, yeah, okay, that's good. Yeah, we'll yeah, go cuter. with that one. I kind of <laughs> thought, thought the slip-up was going to be for the second part of chastity, oh. that there was going to be a slip-up <laughs> in nope. that area of the name. It was like, just a behind. It was just a behind. The, yeah. Just a behind, yeah. It was great. <laughs> uh, all right, so chastity, uh, one last question before you go. I had to sign this like agreement that I wouldn't come to the teachers individually and ask them to babysit. 
so that mm. I can't like steal oh, them from wow. the the actual company and ask them to be my nanny. Has anyone ever approached you to be a, their own personal nanny to do some personal babysitting? So, yes. So, at least with my daycare, the rule is that we just can't go to them and be like, hey, I would love to watch your kid. Mm-hmm. But has to, what we are told is that the parents have to approach us outside of work. Ah. And I, I've had parents, like, come and ask me, like, inside the school. And I'm like, hey, hold on, like, yeah. you know, catch, catch me outside oh. and we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> and is, so, is that a compliment? Like, after work, like, they will come outside and then I'll be like, all right, so here here you go. Here's my information. <laughs> would that be a compliment? I, I, I'm wondering if some daycare workers think that's a compliment and some think, like, what am I, just a babysitter to you guys? I don't know. What do you guys uh, think? Yeah, I think it's a compliment, right? It, it totally depends on the person. Mm-hmm. Like, like for me, this has been my passion since 2012. Like, I was like, I'm going to be a pre-K teacher. I'm doing this. Yeah. So, like, when people come up to me, I'm like, please let me let me watch your kids. And um, nice. I, I usually do a really good deal because you know you never know pe- like what people are going through. Right. Um, I even to the point where I say I'll babysit for free. Just feed me. <laughs> wow. Where are you at? Make me a sandwich and we we'll go from there. And I've and I have like so many, you know, parents come back to me and say, Hey, um, can you watch them this weekend? And I'm like, Sure sure, like why not? Yeah, <laughs> wow, that's so nice. It really depends on the person. Some people are like, mm, like I I'm not for that. Right. And it's yeah. just because like they're probably just there just, you know, until like they get out of college or something. But no, I'm permanently here. So when parents come up to me, I'm like, Yeah. I'll watch them. What time? I'll be honest. I'm, I'm one of those guys that'll st- not steal the, the pre-K teachers away for babysitting, but I've had them come over to my house to watch. And I think it's a compliment because my kids got to the age, like two, three years old, where I'd ask them, like, hey, who do you want to come over and watch you guys? Because we'd have two or three mm-hmm. babysitters. And they would say their pre-K teacher. Mm. And so that's what got us to reach out to them because, you know, that's who your kids feel the most comfortable with. That's who they blurted out when I asked, who do you want to come over? So I think that's a huge compliment yeah. when you get those. Yeah, well, I know. I love it. When I moved from one preschool to another, uh, one of the teachers or one of the parents called me with, hold on, Chelsea, one second, please, like, please help me. And I'm like, oh, what, what, what's going on? I get on the phone and one of my students is crying. And I'm like, what is it? I called her unicorn. And I was like, what's up, unicorn? What's going on? She goes, just I I miss you Aww. and my life's not together right now. And Aww. I need you over here on Saturday at 325 to watch me. I was like, that's very specific, but I will be over there at 325 to watch you. <laughs> All right. Oh, well, Chastity, Chastity, you're awesome. Thank you so much for talking to us for a little bit. I know you probably have a, a classroom full of kids that are setting fire to stuff so, right now or something. I don't know. But uh, th- thank <laughs> you. So- running around, you know, or they're wondering where I'm at. And I'll tell them I just went across, you know, some unicorn bridge. Very Aww. nice. Well, thank you so much for talking to us. And uh, we really appreciate it. We'll talk to you again some other time if we have another question about daycare. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank Thanks you, Chastity. Ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much. Bye, Chastity. See, I'm not as crazy as I thought I was. There was no, somebody. No. Somebody said it is possible that the a certain if the kid shady is person, not at the preschool yeah, when, when they're doing right. the, the 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 art stuff, it just takes one little crack of doubt That's to right. make it that, where you go. All right, there's still a conspiracy up. here. Mm-hmm. There's cracks in the facade. Yes. I'm still I'm siding with the with the pre-K teachers. I think that does it for this episode of Chatty Daddies. I'm not exactly sure where I land now on if I think it's the foot or not. We it's your son's foot. Trey. Okay, fine. I mean most fine. likely it is, yeah. 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 <laughs> Come on, bro. <laughs> well, you can follow us on Instagram at Chatty Daddies. You can leave us a message at the phone number that's in the description below. And you can leave us a review and tell us how great we are. That would be awesome. Yeah. Only good reviews, please. Thank you. Kids need wholesome snacks to fuel their active bodies and imaginations, like delicious soft-baked Cliff Kids Z-Bar. With energizing whole grains from organic oats and in flavors kids love, it's the perfect portable snack for blasting off to space on the swings at recess or exploring the uncharted schoolyard with fellow adventurers. Grab a box of Cliff Kids Z-Bar snacks today, because imagination needs fuel. Learn more at cliffkid.com.
Return to the Monsters, Inc. universe in the Disney Plus brand new series, Monsters at Work. It's laughter thereafter as we meet a brand new cast of monsters voiced by incredible stars such as Mindy Kaling, Henry Winkler, and of course, Ben Feldman as Tyler, a recently graduated scarer who quickly learns the only thing horrifying at Monsters, Inc. is how hilarious it is to be part of the team. Billy Crystal and John Goodman are back in their beloved roles as Mike and Sully. Monsters at Work, original series now streaming only on Disney Plus.